WKNJ 90.3 FM live stream.com backslash EAR to the streets every Monday night, 9 to midnight. We got. I want to say first of all, thanks to Mr. Beats for coming through and get, blessing the turntables for us. And we spun a few, we spun this joint, we spun Keep Rocking and MC on the MPC. I said it right that time. Yep. But now we also have another very special guest in the house. He hails from Jersey City, New Jersey. He's a renowned break dancer and MC. I don't know about renowned but, hey, dancer. But, but you get around. I, you know, I, 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 hey, I'm a radio person. That's my job to hype everyone up. Right, right, right. We have Mozzie Soul Purpose. Thank yes, you for sir. coming through. It's been a, it's been a minute. Wall Street handshake. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey, you know that. <laughs> so, so what's going on, man? What's new? What's going on in your world? You're a man I see everywhere. You're, I mean, I just, I just try to stay in the mix, you know. Uh, I see, I see this, this is, I see you all over the place. You're all over the city. I see a Sutra Lounge every Tuesday. Well, every Tuesday I go there, I should say. I'm not there every Tuesday. But every Tuesday I go there, but... It is, it is a place where a lot of my friends are, and I, I do go and see them at yeah. times. Yeah. And, but also, what's been going on in your world, man? What's been happening? Um, I, I've been traveling a lot. Uh, took, a, took a little break from it, but I'm going to start traveling, gobbling again real soon. Um, got, a f like, six EPs in a row that, I want, that I'm planning to drop. Um, and... The first one is called Digital Digging. It's a it's, it's a free EP that I'm putting out. It's just me uh, going online and finding obscure loops and samples and instrumentals, obscure ones, and just rhyming on them. Um, and then after that comes the Voltron series, which is five EPs in a row. Each one is produced by a different producer, and each one is 100% for a different charity. Oh, um, wow. That's yeah, what's so up. The first one slated is with... Uh, with Young Guru, uh, he did all the beats, um, and 100% of the chat, uh, money from the sales of the, of the EP is going to go to the Boys and Girls Club. And okay. the second one is supposed to be with, uh, I mean, we're almost done with it, is with Harry Fraud, third one, Sean C and LB, fourth one, the Beat Miners, Miners, and fifth one, Frank Dukes, possibly. Okay. So all this is things we're working on at the time, um, but uh, some of them are more done than others. Okay, now also I know you did a you had a mixtape with um, Static Selector. Yeah, I mean it wasn't a mixtape; it was original beats. I don't. I, I hate that word mixtape. Um, uh, because I, that's what it was. Everybody all on the blog yeah, said mixtape. Yeah, or a street tapes. album. It was okay. like basically a street album because it wasn't really. Maybe there's like one instrumental on there. The rest okay. were like beats, original beats, you know. Okay. So um, yeah, I mean Static got on and, and he produced one of the joints, one of the singles, preposition, and then also. He, uh, he hosted it. And then that, well, I know one thing about you, and a lot of your rhymes and the way and the way you carry yourself, I can tell you have a lot of love for hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And why do you think it's very important for MCs to have that love in general for hip-hop? Because a lot of MCs, they'll just say, I'm in it for the bling-bling. There was a blog the other day where a guy said, everybody who says that they're just doing it for the love, they're a pack of liars. It was a whole thing. Well, they, people were going back and forth. Now, how do you feel about that? I think an MC who doesn't love the culture or doesn't do it, essentially and initially and primarily for the culture is like a chef who hates food. Agreed. And you're, you're making a damn food. Why are you hating it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or why don't you love the food you're making, you know? Okay. And it shows in your cooking. If you love the food, you put love into it, it shows. And the same thing goes for your music. And uh, I got I got a chance to I've seen you rock numerous times. I really how did it how did that feel for you to rock on the rock steady stage? That was your, was your first time performing at rock steady, or did no, you rock my fifth? Your fifth time. Yeah. There? Oh, but that's, well, I mean, I, when I get to rock steady, I'm always getting there late at the right. end. But Actually, no, it was my fourth. Okay. So when you're rocking in front of a crowd like that, as to see, because in New Jersey people don't support hip hop in the masses unless it's like rock steady. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how do you feel about that, being from Jersey? I well, mean, exactly. I felt at home. So it's like, I mean, I've rocked around the world, but when I come home, I'm the most amped. I mean, I'm always amped, but I'm, I'm hyped because it has this, you know, certain feel to it. It's just, you know, I lived in Newark, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the city next to it, Jersey right. City, you know what I'm saying? So, I was, sorry, I was hyped. Mm -hmm. Just ready to go berserk. If there was a roof, I'd go through it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and how was it when you... They, I know you said you just you travel around the world. How do they embrace hip-hop in other countries as compared to here? Beautiful, man. New York is spoiled, man. Beautiful. Not that not that I don't love the New York I love it, but we are spoiled, me included, you know? Mm -hmm. we, we get so many things uh, uh, music-wise, and people all around the world, especially third-world countries, they don't have it as easy, so they appreciate it much more, you know? Okay. 
So is there anybody in the future that you'd like to collab with or any producers that you're thinking about maybe getting to work with? Um, actually, I just uh, finished building again with Ski Beats. So. Oh, he just did all the stuff for Locksmith from the yeah, West Coast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hopefully me and him are going to collab for, for, to do a song in relation with the Voltron series in, in the EP. You know, throw, throw it as a bonus cut somewhere, probably. You know, that's what I'm talking to. That's what I want to work with. Of course, Primo. I like Timberland a lot. So who knows? One day, one of these things might happen. And where does the drive come from? Because you're one person I can say when, like, whenever I see you're always amped, always positive, and it reflects in your music. And when and when you make joints, they're really the very complete albums because I like you really embrace the culture as being a b boy and then also as an MC. Mm-hmm. And the way you embrace the culture and the love that you have for the music, where would you say that that comes from? Uh, it comes from negativity. Um, you know, I grew up in a real negative, messed up environment, so hip hop was always an outlet for me. Mm-hmm. And you know, you turn that negativity to, to to positivity. That was my channel. That was my release, and it always has been. Without music. And, of course, you know, yeah, your family and spirituality. Without music, though, in particular, that's what we're talking about, um, I wouldn't be the person I was. I'd be lost in a lot of ways, you know, or in a lot of trouble, legally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, we all go through the ups and downs, but yeah. you're here now. That's the yes, main sir. thing. Yes, sir. God bless. But now, also, with the whole, when you said, and I know you mentioned how the way they embrace the culture in other, in other cities and other countries. Mm-hmm. Do they draw the numbers like we do over here? When I say as far as attendance at shows, or how is it, or is it like... Well, that's another thing. In New York, you'll have like seven shows at, in one night, you know what I'm saying? Agreed. Over there, they're just going to have that one show, or maybe two, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. So yeah, naturally, you're going to draw more of a crowd, and, and there's, like you said, more of a, like I said earlier, more of appreciation. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's a great thing. So do you have any shows coming up? Anything in the future right um, now? Shows coming up, shows coming up. Not that I know of. I'm very laboratory bound right now. You know what I'm saying? Really cooking up things for my project. And also, Vicky Green's project. Who's, okay. She's also here. She has Hi, Vicky Green. Anyway. Vicky Green is a, is a female <laughs> MC out of Harlem slash Yonkers. And uh, she's uh, on the come up and... I suggest everybody to look out for her. It's at, what is, what's your Twitter? At Vicky Green <coughs> of NYC. So definitely check her out. You can learn more about it. I'm going to let, you know, she, she, she actually did a feature on the uh, Digital Digging, which is the free EP that I'm putting out with. Okay. Um, and she's did a feature on there, and, you know, that would be her, hopefully one of her bazooka blasts into the, her own project. Okay. Well, Maz, I want to say thank you for coming by, and I want to get into this joint with you and Vicky Green right now. You and to... also, you gonna play the other joint? Yeah, too? we're gonna play the other yeah. joint. As well. The other joint, I, I on purpose uh, brought it uh, on sole purpose, brought it uh, because um, it's it's uh, it's a joint I did with Sky Zoo um, for a project with with uh, Mick Boogie and Six Sense, and it's um, I'm talking about Jersey, so you're gonna see the love for Jersey I have on there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, you can play that later. But for now, it's, it's "Dirt All by My Lonely." It's a, it's a naughty remake that one. But anyway, this joint is called "Concrete Waves," featuring Vicky Green. Check it out. It's on a it's on a um, digital digging EP, which is coming out very soon, in a couple weeks, hopefully. God willing. Yes. Livestream.com. Ear to the streets. At it's Mozzie. And, it, and that's his Twitter. And I found that, and I'm following you, so follow back. You know, I'm very yes, big on that. I'm very lazy with that, but we'll see why I will. Livestream.com. Ear to the streets. Lego.